Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to build a basic web application with the use of Lovable and NAT. As you may guys already know, Lovable is a platform where you can just insert a prompt and it will generate a web application for you based on your needs. At the end of the day, you have to play with it and tweak it throughout the process to get the final result that you guys need. But in this video, we will be basically building something similar to what you can see on your screen. It's, it's called Fitness World, the website. You basically insert some information about you and it will give you information uh, based on your fitness needs. For example, if you want to gain a weight or you want to lose weight, it's going to tell you how many calories you should eat to man maintain, gain or lose weight based on the information that you input. So let me cl close this tab out and let's actually go to NITN. Let me quickly explain how it's going to work. So basically, we have Lovable and we have NITN. So with the help of Lovable, we're going to create a web application interface and whenever we input the information like you saw in the previous tab, our metrics, our goal, it's going to pass this information to the NITN. And then NITN is going to process this information with the help of AI agent and will generate a response of how many calories we should um, eat a day to maintain, gain or lose weight. And then NITN is going to post that information back to the lovable web applications that it was generated for us. So the first step in building this web application will be adding a webhook. So let's go ahead and add one. We're going to look for a webhook. And we're going to be using this webhook as a get method. So the way it's going to work, basically, Lovable is going to generate us a fitness application interface. And inside that fitness application interface, if we go to the example that I'm going to be using as, as you can see, you have bulking calculator, you have male, female, age, weight, height, start date, goal, goal weight, and all of this information. So if we input all of that information, that information will be passed to, back to NA10. Specifically, this webhook is going to capture that information. And then NA10 will process it and work with it, as you will see later in this video. So let's copy this webhook and let's go actually inside the lovable. So here you can see the prompts that I gave it. I need you to build a React application called MealFeed, a precision engineering meal planning platform. So you can read it yourself. I'm going to scroll a bit slower. So as you can see, I basically mentioned some information as well as the UI should feature modern fitness and fire design with a steel blue, crimson and mint color scheme. So all of that information, actually, you can either even attach a picture of the interface that you might have found online and you like and you want to create something similar in terms of the interface. But the most important thing is going to be this part. The webhook integration should use this endpoint. So you're going to insert the webhook, your, uh, the webhook endpoints that we just copied and you're going to paste it here. So it says implement only get request with secure parameters, as well as it says uh, we have to make sure we get back the information from the left hook before generating the result. So let's paste it here and let's see how long it takes to generate us uh, a working web application. So after waiting for some time, as you can see, we got our generation completed and it's a fail. Nothing worked, it gave us an error. So let's try fixing it. So we're going to press try to fix. It's also going to take some time. For the code present, I get the error below, please think step by step in order to resolve it. So basically, you don't have to know how to code with the use of Lovable. It basically does a lot of things for you. But let's just wait and try to get to the final result. So now after trying to resolve the error, that's what we got from the Lovable looks much better. We have our logo there. We have the interface might not be the best. Probably should have used some snippet of the interface that I liked. But let's actually test it and see that uh, if that information that we're going to input inside the, inside of here is going to be passed back to the NA10. So if we go here, we're going to test the workflow and let's go back to the lovable and let's just click next. Just we're going to choose something random. Dairy, for example, next for generate meal plan. OK, as you can see, everything was passed. You can see green around it and we have one item as the output. So let's go inside and see what we got. So if we go on the schema, we can see the information, our height, height and unit, weight, weight unit, age, gender, activity level, diet preferences, allergies, fitness goal, meal, uh, meals per day. So the next step is going to be adding AI agent. Let's add an AI agent. And here we're going to add the chat model. I'm going to be using Entropic chat model, 3.5, Sonnet old. I think it's the best when it comes to writing something out to use. So we're going to get the best result with the use of that model, at least when it comes to my preference. So let's go inside the AI agent and here we're going to define below. So here I'm going to paste my prompt and basically the way it's going to work. Now, AI agent is going to work with this information and based on that information, it's going to generate me a meal plan 
as well as the calories I should intake based on the needs. For example, we have see here our height, weight, gender prefer not to say. I'm going to just keep it like that. Activity level, diet preference, allergies, and fitness goal is going to be maintenance with the four meals per day. So now I input the prompt that I'm going to be using for the AI agent. Let me open it up so you guys can see. Here we have, based on the following user data, I just basically, what I did is I pulled this from the query and I just input it right here. Uh, we have height, we have weight, we have age, and here we're going to be basically generating the daily nutrition summary, calories, protein, carbs. It generated for us, if you go inside right here, you can see that lovable all of the generated the web applications that actually was created for us all of the generated the um, output i hope i didn't confuse you all here um, we have calories protein carbs fat wheel chicken salad it was random it wasn't generated by our na10 but we want um, our N backend be dependent on our na10 and you can see all the information right here so let's test the step and wait so when it comes to uh entropy chat models Something that I've noticed, they usually take a bit longer than other models, uh, like OpenAI models, but it's, at the end of the day, it depends on what you guys use. So let's go here, JSON. Based on the provided user data, I'll generate a personalized meal plan. Please note that without specific gender information, I'll use an average meal and female calculations or calorie macronutrient needs. So let's see. Let me mention something real quick at the end. Be here, notes. Don't say anything else. Just give me a clean output that is structured nicely. Okay, let's try to regenerate because I don't want it to say anything at the start, like based on the status that we're given, none of that. So let's try and wait and see what we get. It's going to take a bit of time. So let's see. Okay, it's working. Everything worked. Generate your meal plan. Okay, you can see that everything works much better. So now what we have to do is get the response back to the lovable. So what we're going to do, we're going to add another webhook. And it's going to be using respond to webhook node. Here, we're going to keep it as respond with the first incoming item. And now we have to make sure we go back to the webhook something, um, the mistakes that can always be done is using respond to webhook node as the response method so now let's delete everything now let's go back to lovable and test if it even communicates can get back the information from na10 or not if not we can we will have to debug it so let's refresh let's put mail let's put next diet preference vegetarian let's see what kind of information we get do we get any meats in there moderately active we don't eat let's see eggs and soy fitness goal let's keep three meals a day main let's actually do muscle gain next generate meal plan let me see let's press on the test workflow something i almost forgot generate meal plan and let's see okay now everything is working and let's hope that nothing okay uh seems like it worked let's go back and let's check i think it didn't get back the information because you can see that we have 2800 calories and it shows us 10 uh 50 calories just from the perspective of muscle gain with 10 50 calories you're not going to gain any muscle so let's put it here the we didn't let's see we didn't get any data back from the and then webhook let me just copy the webhook to give it more information we got so you guys can see how everything works actually and here we're gonna also say something like we should have had this as we should have had this as the output check how we get data back from na10 so now it's going to work on this problem and it will generate us a response and we'll probably edit something inside the um, 
lovable the web applications that was generated for us. Looking at the network request and console logs, I can see the issue was our webhook handling. Let's fix the webhook service TS file to probably to probably pass the response from the anytime webhook. So as you can see, it's in the process of creating and um, debugging the problem, writing a webhook service. So you can see the code is being written right here, actually live. Uh, pretty cool, right? So let's wait, and we're gonna get back some better, hopefully, uh, web application, and hopefully everything works in the next step. So Lovable did some edits in accordance with what uh, was the concerns. As you can see, I just press on this part, and uh, it generated another edit for us, refactor. Just put it in small files without breaking any functionality. Make sure to delete any unused imports or files after the operation is done. So it basically, hopefully, fixed the issue, and let's actually put it to the test again. So let's go back, and we're gonna test the workflow. We're gonna put next. Let's put it as a mail. Um, diet preference. Let's see. Vegetarian. Moderately active. Uh, we're gonna put here eggs, peanuts, and soy. Next is gonna be maintenance. And let's generate the meal plan. And let's see if the information from N10 is N10 is being passed to the uh, web application. So let's see. Let's read it better. So we have here calories 2300, protein 86 grams, carbs 316 grams. So let's go and actually check it. Yes, that information got passed on. Now let's calculate the, uh, let's see for the breakfast. Let's see if the breakfast vegetable quinoa, quinoa bowl, calories 550. Do we have here preparation cooked quinoa, uh, sauteed vegetables mixed with chickpeas and dressed with olive oil, lm juice. As you can see, everything was passed on to the lovable and now we have a web application that is working and we can get some information based on the needs we input similar to something like that here like let's let's actually put it to the test 25 145 let's say 160 and let's calculate you can see it gets us information it's at the end of the day it's a bit different this one just gives us calories and uh, caloric needs to meet the um, goals that we have but here that's what we get. It's just a very easy and basic show of what Lovable and Anytime can do together. Basically, Lovable can be our um, generating of our web application interfaces and our Anytime can be the back end. At the end of the day, it's a very basic product. And if you want to create something more, you'll need more attempts, more tries and more work to be done. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Have a good one. Bye bye.